Welcome guys, today we're here to discuss about the ending of one of the greatest shows ever made, Monster. Monster to me was a true psychological thriller, which kept me at the edge of my seat throughout the series, and truly kept me involved psychologically, and the ending left me speechless, so, let's try to understand the ending. So let's start the video by discussing the last scene of the last arc of the show, then we'll jump directly to the ending. So first let's talk about what exactly happened in the end, so in the end last arc as you know that, Johan invaded Rohanheim which was said to be a small town, where people are very simple and fun living, but it doesn't stay as the same way after Johan the devil, invades the town and makes it a living hell in a couple of hours, and in the very end when Johan was on the verge of successfully completing his plan of, the perfect suicide, Tenma still didn't kill him and Johan was shot by a random drunk guy, and it was the first time in the show when Johan lost, so there's a lot to discuss in this scene, first of all Tenma vs Johan. In the end when Tenma and Johan were in front of each other, it was not a physical fight, it was a battle of ideologies, where Johan's ideology is that everyone in this universe is only equal in death, and death is a very normal thing. Whenever someone borns or dies in any part of universe, it's nothing but a tiny flash, so why live, whereas Tenma thinks of everyone's lives equal, and gives 100% to save every life possible, and this is what Johan wanted to disprove here in this scene, he wanted make. Tenma kill him, which would have eventually made Tenma monster, but still he couldn't kill him despite hating him so much, that immediately proved that Tenma was right, Tenma is a doctor who's meant to save lives, not end it, as he even saved the life of Johan twice, first in the beginning of the show. Second in the ending despite knowing what kind of a devil he is, Tenma still saved his life, that proves the entire premise above, and then in the next episode it was shown that Tenma is proved innocent, and now living a happy life, and in the end Tenma visited Johan, and told him that he met his mother and even got to knew his real name. And then suddenly Johan wakes up and definitely we all had a mini heart attack in this scene, and Johan asks that the day her mother chose to give up her sister, while she was about to give Johan, so Johan asks which was the unwanted child, him or her sister, and then Tenma wakes up from this nightmare and we get to knew that, it was just a hallucination, but what exactly did this scene meant, was this scene made just to give audience a mini heart attack, so it's not like that, this scene actually explained the entire theme of monster, this scene meant that monster isn't a person, it's the belief that one's life is more valuable than the other, that's what Johan meant when he said, he saw a monster in front of him that day, those two men forced his mother to chose which child's life she valued more, he even saw himself as a monster, but he was trying to prove even in his death that everyone is a monster, not just him. He wanted Tenma to chose Vim's life over his, to prove that even Tenma was a monster. That's why Tenma choosing to save him after knowing what he was capable of was so profound, Tenma wasn't a monster, he truly believed all lives were equal, and seriously things like this make this story a complete masterpiece, the more you think about it the more you realize, that's what this entire scene meant, and now let's talk about the most important topic of the video, which is the ending scene of the show. So here we see Johan disappear, so has Johan escaped, and he's out there hunting. Again, so it's nothing like that, if I talk about the ending realistically, that exactly happened here, then Johan here was shifted to another hospital, or maybe some other room because the author of the story Naoki Urasawa, released a manga, Another Monster, which was like a sequel of Monster, where he explained some explained things left in prequel, and here it was clearly mentioned that Johan is still in coma. So this is the realistic explanation of the ending, but if we talk about it metaphorically, then there's still something to uncover, so if you remember then, Inspector Lungi once said in the show that, when a person doesn't leave single trace behind in the crime scene, is simply a monster, and in the end it is clearly visible that someone was here, which clearly means that Johan isn't a monster anymore, and there's another point to prove it, now he had a name, he wasn't nameless anymore, and there are people left who can call him by his real name, pretty much a happy ending you can say, and of course clearly none of us could have predicted that this show can have a happy ending like this, and Monster is a true psychological thriller done right, as the more you think about its underlying question the more disturbed you feel. This is one of the rare cases where describing it as a masterpiece is actually an understatement, and I don't think so if we'll ever come close to witnessing something like this again, so anyways, this was the complete explanation of the ending sequence of Monster, and I hope that you've understood it completely, and have no doubts related to it, and as of now I'll meet you in my next video with another interesting topic. Till then, goodbye.